story number six. It's a warning about celebrating the premiere of the latest Fast and Furious movie on the streets of L.A. The CHP is taking a zero tolerance approach to any illegal activity as the movie opens this weekend. KCL News reporter Rick Montanez is live in Beverly Grove with the stern warning to street racers. Rick. And Amy, they are taking this chance really to drive this message home because they are so concerned for what they call a crisis across the state. The news conference is happening now where they're showing some wrecked cars here. They've shut down Melrose Avenue here at La Jolla, and you can see in the street right here donuts markings from uh, tires uh, where cars are doing what they fear the most. They fear drivers will be doing these street takeovers and sideshows. Let's show you some video of that. Uh, this is what LAPD Chief Michael Moore and the other law enforcement agencies here are concerned with. These street takeovers and sideshows that have plagued the Southland for quite some time. They've been around for a long time, but consistently a problem in recent months. Since December, we've profiled at least two deaths related to sideshows on Friday. This is the other concern. Fast X from Universal Studios is premiering in it's the latest in the Fast and Furious franchise. And Chief Moore says in the past release of other movies from this franchise, they have seen traffic related problems with people thinking they can safely pull off stunts like they see in the movie. But he says that is not so. The CHP, LA County Sheriff's Department and LAPD joined forces here for a news conference today. The departments say they will work collaboratively to crack down on dangerous driving, including using state funds to increase enforcement from different agencies. They want drivers to lose their licenses. They want cars impounded for people caught participating in these illegal shows. All of this activity, they warn, can cost lives. Our freeways, roadways and bridges have been shut down illegally in causing, in some cases, uh, folks not being able to make it to an emergency room and in others just being flat out late for work. These illegal and dangerous activities put people's lives at risk, damage public and private property, and in some cases even resulted in the death of innocent people. And here live, you can see there's a wrecked uh, car parked on the street here on the sidewalk here as part of their demonstration. The CHP says over the last five years statewide, they have seen 264 street racing crashes resulting in 30 deaths. They say all of that could have been prevented. And again, the warning is to avoid that reckless driving. Reporting live in Beverly Grove, Rick Montanez, KCAL News.